These are snake bark maples. Absolutely fantastic trees. This is named after George Forrest, one of the most famous plant hunters that we've ever had in Britain, Victorian, like most of them. And if you look at the bark, it looks like snake skin. The new growth is bright. This is bright green, as you can see. And then as it ages, it takes on some bark stripes, but still with the green showing. It has flowered this year amazingly. You'll see them all the way around me. And now we have the flower seeds, which you can just see. And they look like little winged seeds, like we did with children with the sycamore seeds and did helicopter playing. Beautiful leaf. And they're just starting to do that change of color. Now this one's George Forrest. The one next to me is Grey Snake. And the Grey Snake is wonderful. Whereas George Forrest has got beautiful green new tips, the Grey Snake has red new tips. And it has more of a yellow bark rather than the green bark. And a lovely tree. They don't like wind. And even though we've had really, really dry weather, we have had a little bit of wind and the winds have been quite hot. So she has a tiny bit of scorching around the edge. So when you plant her in your garden, she can be controlled by you can take the lead out and then you end up with a multi-stem like this one. So it can be a tree that you can put into a smaller garden or if you let it go to a full height, you've got a beautiful large specimen tree. Again, one of those trees that can be cut back and maintained in the garden and has interest in the winter as well as through the rest of the year. I love the texture of bark. I love to see Ata Grishams, the snake bark maples, the Betler Jack Montii, the Prunus tibetica cerulea, the ones that give something all year round.